Greetings, everyone. Um, this is a video response to um, Captain Logan of Geekvolution and uh, um, his review of uh, the Tick TV shows. And uh, while I do want to give my um, two cents on these th on these um, shows, both the animated version and the live version. Uh, I assure you I do not speak with the uh, eloquence and uh, stylishness of the good captain. But like I was saying, I do want to kind of give my POV um, on this show because, first of all, the tick is, as far as the animation goes, the tick is my favorite cartoon of all time. And the TV show, um, I mean the, the live action TV show, I think is great also. And uh, um, the comic book, the comic book kind of left me cold. Um, it was like the same things or similar things that c could happen in the comic book would not, you know, strike me as funny seeing it on the printed page as opposed to hearing it being spoken. So the comic book was always kind of a non-factor, although um, that's where the tick originated. But as far as the TV show goes. Um, my first encounter with a TV show um, came about by happenstance. I was getting up one morning and it happened to be on. And the um, it wasn't the first episode, but it was the first episode that I saw. And it was this other tick coming into town and he entered this pub or this eatery or whatever. And I remember him saying something like when he slammed the door open, uh, where is this moron that calls himself the tick and um, amidst this sea of humanity that you really couldn't make one person out from another too much when the camera panned to one area you could sort of see like four or five people crowd together and then all of a sudden you see some you see a couple of antennae blue antennae sticking up and finally the head comes up and it's the tick the actual tick and the tick says something along the lines of why I'm that moron well that's not to say that I'm a moron but if you're looking for a tick you know blah 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 and I was hooked ever since um, the characters on there the Flater Mouse the other the supporting characters the Flater Mouse um, the Civic 95 um, my, my favorite um, American Maid uh, were just you know so over the top cool that it wasn't even funny although it was funny um, and then you had the villains um, one guy I think he was called the Baker I'm not sure I think he I think his sidekick was Pat although on on Google it labels him as being buttery Pat um, and just the fact that this guy was basically a stick of butter or stick of margin in humanoid form was just all kinds of crazy. It was he, he, he put you in the mind of a little bit of Iceman because Iceman had, could make those ice bridges. Well, um, Pat would just because he was made of butter could just skate to wherever he wanted to go to. Um, I kind of wish he was the main villain as opposed to the henchman. Um, but my my uh, uh, all time favorite villain on that show was uh, Chairface Chippendale. Um, a situation occurred where Chairface Chippendale, um, after, his man's, after his demands hadn't been met, he started to carve his name with this um, you know, big super laser. He started to carve his name into the moon. And while in, in and of itself, that wasn't particularly funny, what was particularly funny was that if when the after the tick had stopped him from getting his full name up because he had like maybe two and a half letters um, carved into the moon the ongoing joke was if you watch other episodes later episodes of the tick um, and there were nighttime scenes you would see the C the H and part of the A um, still on the moon and I'm telling you that was just it, it was crazy and uh, 
later on they did the um, the live action deal where I love that as well because Patrick Warburton I think did a masterful job um, in the lead role and had Captain Logan not mentioned it um, I actually didn't never really notice the height discrepancy between Patrick's um, Patrick's portrayal of the character and the um, um, the cartoon character of the uh, of the same name, um, which I think is a testament to uh, Patrick's strength um, as an actor to kind of take you out of um, um, the whole visual aspect of how the tick was in the uh, um, cartoon and perhaps the comic as well. Um, but to talk about to go more into the live action deal. Um, I think probably one of my favorite scenes in the, um, well, before I go into that, the one thing I didn't care for in the live action was that they changed American Maid to Captain Victory, which I believe was sort of a PC move so that folks wouldn't have to um, write in um, as it relates to, a, to this character um, somehow being shown off as being... Uh, um, what a sexist male did um, to a lady. Um, the humor was so broad that I would find it difficult that you'd have someone that would be so narrow-minded as to think that it was some sort of sexist ploy. But apparently they didn't want to rock the boat and you know so they didn't take any chances and they changed her name. Um, that said however I was still glad that though they changed her name to Captain Victory. The cool thing about that was that um, I hadn't really heard of too many heroines being called Captain. So, you know, I thought that was cool. Um, but one of the craziest things to me um, about the tick, the live action one, um, was when they had this character called the Immortal. Um, I believe he was in the city to make a um, um, some kind of speech or declaration or something and uh, he kind of hit it off of Captain Victory and one thing led to another and um, they did the deed and uh, the tick ended up getting a phone call and as a result went on over to uh, um, see what was happening with Captain Victory and after she started crying her eyes out and all that stuff, she finally let him in on the fact that, you know, he passed away um, um, during their lovemaking, I guess. And uh, I think the funniest line to come from the show, uh, in my opinion at least, was, oh my God, she's killed the immortal. And I really don't know how a person who considers themselves to have a sense of humor not like these shows. Um, everybody, of course, is entitled to their opinion. And everybody has their own personal taste, and I get that. But The Tick was so brilliant. Um, and I don't usually equate brilliance with broad, nearly slapstick humor. But um, in The Tick's case, it pretty much worked on all fronts. And... Uh, yeah, that's basically my two cents I wanted to put in on one of my favorite shows. Well, one of my favorite shows, live action, and my favorite show, um, animated. So, there you have it. And uh, thank you for your time. And night out.